Types of insulin include rapid acting insulin, short acting, intermediate acting, long acting, and ultra long acting insulin. Rapid acting insulin start to work about 15 minutes after injection, reach its maximum effect in about one hour, and continue to work for about three hours. When it starts to work, this is known as onset. When it reaches its maximum effect, is known as peak. And the total time of action is known as duration. Types of rapid acting insulin include insulin lispro, known as Humalog, insulin aspart, known as Novolog, as you see, both end with log, and insulin glulizine, known as Apidra. Short-acting insulin start to work within 30 minutes after injection, reach its maximum effect two hours later, and continue to work for about five hours. Short-acting insulin is known as regular insulin. Trade names are Humulin R, Novolin R. As you see, regular insulin ends with the letter R. Intermediate acting insulin. It reaches the bloodstream in about two hours after injection. Reaches its maximum effect about eight hours later, and continue to work for about sixteen hours. Intermediate acting insulin is known as NPH, and trade names are Humulin N, Novolin N. As you see, intermediate acting insulin ends with the letter N. Long acting insulin, it starts to work about two hours after injection. It has no peak, and the duration of action is about 24 hours. Examples of long acting insulin are insulin glargine, known as Lantus, insulin detimir, known as Livimir. And finally, ultra-long acting insulin, it reaches bloodstream in about 6 hours after injection. It has no peaks and continue to work for about 36 hours. Example of ultra-long acting insulin is Glargine 300, known as Tugine.